GoPro, go. Well, I, I, I want to ask, well, first, I, I'm going to be nice to Nick. Oh, no, I, <laughs> and just, I mean, Nick, this, this is your pick to win the Eastern Conference. The team that has lost in the last two nights to the Wizards mm -hmm. and the Grizzlies. And I don't want to hear anything from anybody. I know you're not going to say it. Oh, Dame Dollar wasn't there. Well, neither was Ja Moran for the Grizzlies. All right. ja, I mean, Ja hasn't been there all year. No, I know, but that, that's what I'm saying. They're missing some people, too. So, uh, Nick, Steven we're Adam. not allowing you to change your pick, but still, well, you what, want an olive branch? Oh, well, no way. <laughs> olive branches. <laughs> the, 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 you want to pick the Celtics the, like Wild? The, the, <laughs> take your olive branch. <laughs> and the, that wasn't a good the, quote. The, what? The doc? It, I, here's well, what I want to ask was. you about it. Here's what I want to ask you about it. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we, talk, we agreed talking about the trainers and the mm -hmm. lack of professionalism from the staff was an excuse for Doc. Mm -hmm. Do you think this was the same thing? Like Obviously. Because yeah, he only played 32 minutes. He's played the last seven games. This was a back-to-back. -back. Also, that it seems I, like he's I, fine. Listen, I, I'll explain my thoughts on the Bucks as a whole in a moment. But on Doc in this quote, yeah, that's not how it works with it, the trainers. <laughs> the trainers have final say over the head coach about a player being held out. Not yes. a player being in kept game? in. Right. The in idea game? that a coach is oh, like, I want to take the guy out. And the trainer is going to No, leave him in. That is not. <laughs> thank you. Thank He's you. a breather. No. no. Thank you. That's not how it works. <laughs> and so for Doc to be like, well, you know, I mean, my hands are tied there. The going trainer, ahead. If Medical. that was, again, if what? you didn't watch the game, the conversation was not, why didn't Giannis play more? Then if it were that, then it would make sense. Well, I wanted them two trainers that right. I can't. So, yeah, of course, he's just foisting on blame on anyone about. and everyone other than himself. That part's all true. God, it's weird. Because they're the 15 and 15 under Doc. Listen, guys, it's am I the good. only one with a memory? 15 and 15. How did, Den how did Denver finish the year last year, hoisting the trophy? How did they finish the regular season? Timeout. Team? They well, literally they had first locked up, so they rested everybody. Well, they, these guys. Doc are, can't. He can, wants to, but he can't. The trainers are tied. This is in an odd way. They they also have first locked up. It's locked away because Boston has clinched <laughs> sure. it. The Warriors, they won the title in 2022. How'd they do at the end of March? They lost seven out of eight. What about the 2017 Cavs? Maybe the best LeBron team this ever. They finished the year 0 and 4. They actually they, they, they lost of nine games? of the at least one. They <laughs> lost nine of their final 15. <laughs> those teams. And you guys act like there's never teams that end up going to the okay, finals just, that have late season just swoons, quickly. Dog days. I mean, I, you're dog doing days. you're doing an excellent job. Of course. But now all of a sudden the Cavs are. 14 and a half games behind the Celtics. The Bucks are 13 and a half. They're two games behind them in the loss cob. If the Cavs get their act together. But they're not going to. And by the way, even if they. The, the Knicks are banged up, so they're the, not. And, and, and the, maybe the Doc's playing the long game. The Magic of, are 45 and 31, and the Bucks are 47 and 20. I mean, it's there. If well, they keep losing to teams like the Grizzlies. The, okay. They're not playing well. There's no <laughs> denying it. They, I also will say what I said yesterday in this regard. Mm -hmm. I don't really care how they play when Dame's not there. This whole thing is going to be determined by how Giannis and Dame play together in the postseason. I, and now, am I encouraged by last night? No. Do I think Doc Rivers is already pre-excuse making? It sure <laughs> seems that way. I mean, but the last two there games. hasn't been a fundamental change on the ground as far as why I believed in this team. It wasn't because I love Doc Rivers. It wasn't because he's great at the press conference. And it wasn't because I thought the Bucks were a juggernaut without Dame alongside Giannis. That's all. What? Here's the thing. Doc Rivers is just not that good of a coach. That's the reality. Doc Rivers has really been exposed over the years as just not being that good of a coach. And now he tries to deflect and put the blame on other people. He wanted to take Giannis out, but then he claims he couldn't because of the trainers. Do you understand how insane that is and how that makes sense? That's why they're laughing at him. These three guys, you know, Nick Wright, Brew, Wilds, I mean, they're just laughing at them because they're just like, what are you talking about? It just it just makes no sense. And I actually feel bad for Doc at this point because he was any coach was put in a tough situation to come into the middle of the season, no matter how good of a coach you are. It's a lot to do. You're coming into an organization that you're not familiar with. You know, you're going to try to 
try to instill your culture, your identity, and you don't have a lot of time to do it. And so I, I, that was all he was always set up to fail in a lot of ways. And if I, you know, and I get maybe why he took it because he wanted the job, but it wasn't the right move for him, quite honestly. But, you know, because now people are going to hold, hold it over his head saying, look, you couldn't even win. You couldn't win with Joel. You couldn't really win with the Celtics outside of that one time. You couldn't win with the Clippers. And now you can't win with Giannis. You have all these stars, all these Hall of Famers, and you can't win, which may be, you know, true or false, you know, whether it's actually on Doc or not. But he obviously is a problem. He might not be the problem, but he is a problem. And his deflection is just getting really comical right now. He just looks like an old guy trying to just, you know, keep skirting responsibility. And like I said, I actually feel bad for him to a degree. But this whole thing is just kind of spiraling. And then Nick is trying to say, you know, oh, look at these other teams. The Golden State Warriors have... Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, and at the time, Jordan Poole, who was balling out. You're talking about, at the time, three-time champions. Steve Kerr, who's not only winning rings as a coach, but also obviously as a player. Compare that to Doc Rivers, Giannis, and Dame. Like, what are we talking about here? They don't have that championship clout. And then he wants to compare the Cleveland Cavaliers, how they were losing near the end. And it's like, they had LeBron James. And they were losing, as Brew pointed out, that LeBron James wasn't playing. And Denver, I specifically remember that last season. Yes, they were resting. They weren't going hard. They locked up first place. And they were getting ready for the playoffs. That is not the situation that Giannis and the Bucks are in. And at this point, you got to you got to actually be kind of like, you know, weary that the Bucks are even going to be healthy going into the playoffs. So you're even, you know, cuz you talk about Damian Lillard not playing, you got to be skeptical that Giannis and Dame are going to be able to play every single playoff game. Cuz it just seems like they've, you know, kind of had a revolving door of being in and out of the lineup with the Bucks. So the Bucks are in trouble. And the truth is, as good as Giannis is, as as athletic as he is, he is not a true NBA, you know, a true basketball savant like a Steph Curry, like a LeBron, like a KD, like a Jordan. Giannis is unbelievable. I love watching him play. But he is the Greek freak. He is an athletic freak. He does not know basketball to the core of his being like a LeBron James. So LeBron James knows how to win games in different ways. He knows how to play chess. He knows what each circumstance in within a game is needed. He knows what needs to be done. He's doing all the calculations, right? He's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. That's not Giannis. And that's okay. That's not this huge glaring knock on Giannis. It just is what it is. It's remarkable how amazing and gifted he is and what he's been able to accomplish despite having that, you know, and, you know, that basketball savant like brain that some of these other stars in the past have had, like a Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant as well. Absolutely. And I'm not sure if I said MJ or not. They just understand the game to the core. They need to know. They know what needs to be done and they can come up big when the moment calls for it. And that's not Giannis. Giannis barely even doesn't even want the ball. He plays hot potato when it gets like that. That's why they want Damian Lillard to be the closer. And yes, I know Giannis stepped up big in the play in the finals and won the championship. That was amazing. I watched that whole game. That was amazing. But that was one moment. The true greats do it many moments. In both the regular season, the playoffs, the finals, conference finals, and they do it over a career. Giannis has not shown to be able to do that. And if he has, then why has he only won one championship? Because all these other greats that people want to say that Giannis is in that company with, they all win one. 
two, three, four, five. Titles. Five, six. I mean, all these guys, whether it be LeBron, KD, Steph, obviously Jordan, Kobe, Shaq, they've they've all win multiple rings. They all at least, you know, maybe not three peep, but at least they go back to back. He hasn't even made back just multiple NBA finals in general. That is an indictment on Giannis. It just is. Giannis somehow skirts the blame, and I'm not entirely entirely sure why, how, quite honestly, because people hold Steph Curry's feet to the fire more than they hold um, Giannis. And whether you want to discount those KD years, which to me is nonsense, he's He's 2 and 0 without KD in that regard. He's won two titles. One of them as an old man essentially in basketball years. Giannis is in his athletic prime and he still can't get the job done. And you got to ask yourself why? What is it? And I think it's because of the basketball IQ. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.